Hello, I am Yuri Bacon, and I would like to show off some glitches I found in the Underhero demo. The first one involves the first tutorial battle. During the part, there, there's three parts where you're introduced to the attack, the jump, and crouch mechanic. During the last part, where you crouch a, a where you crouch to dodge an attack, there's a period between successfully doing that and dialogue where you can jump. And the dialogue will cut off the jump and cause you to continuously rise up. The closer you jump to the dialogue that shows up, the faster you rise. And the two notable things about this is that obviously it rises you in the air, so you can get a lot of height and glide over the second uh, tutorial battle. But the, and the other thing is, which I probably should have mentioned first, is that it allows you to actually leave this battle early and not act actually have to defeat this enemy. And I shall show it off now. Right there, I just left the battle. And boom. I am here. I still had to do all the tutorial, but I did not have to defeat it afterwards. Which is useful. And as you noticed, I flew off pretty fast. So I got I cut it off really close to, the di to that dialogue showing up. And the fun thing is about this is there's not only can you if you have good execution get really high and just completely fly over this tutorial though if you were looking to use it for a speed run you would eventually have to do this tutorial later so it's not that useful but you can do you skip over this tutorial with it and you can go to this tutorial complete it Because the notable thing about this tutorial is that it unlocks the ability to talk to your enemies. And that, but this one comes after the first one, which you normally can't go back to and talk to. Oh wait, let me just bribe him. Get out of there. You have to make sure to leave this area, then go back. If you leave this area, go back. One, you can drop onto this enemy like this, drop, pressing down and jump to drop through the platform, and well, this. It's just hilarious. And two, I can now enter into this battle, and I can now talk with them. You will never know my struggles. That's probably not the enemy talking, but I want to think that's the de uh, the programmer talking, saying his struggles, cutting out all the bugs that would allow you to talk to this enemy that you shouldn't be able to talk to. That's that's just my uh, that, that's just my uh, conjecture right there. And that that glitch and the fun things around it was the main thing I wanted to show off in this video. But once I get out of this battle, I'd like to show that the pause menu is kind of broken and weird. Uh, I noticed someone in the Discord already noted that if you're over something like, say, a door that you can interact with and go into the pause menu, you interact with the door, not the menu. I'm going to try that because I haven't actually tried that myself. But... Oh my god, this takes forever. But the main thing about the pause menu is that it doesn't really pause anything, which is really, really annoying. Most obviously, during the boss battle, battle since not, since, uh, well, it's a boss battle, it'd be nice to be able to pause and then, you know, walk away. Because uh, as it currently is, you can't. Do you notice all animations still go on? And... Pausing well in the middle of a jump will just cancel all horizontal momentum, and the camera stops following the player. That's the most notable thing I wanted to mention, since the running has a weird acceleration to it that I don't really see in other platformers doing this slippery. Unless it's like Luigi, but, but it's nice because you can just go... 
that's particularly helpful on jumps you have to keep jumping left and then right on. Like that room room back there that's locked. And particularly another thing is you can still interact with water like you're supposed to. Like you can press down to fall faster rather than more slowly, and that still works in the pause menu. Which is better showed off here. She noticed I was still falling faster there. And then the only other thing, which I don't really think is a glitch, there's no acceleration and gliding, which is useful to just start gliding and then turn around. So you can kind of bounce in there. If I can... Something like that. Which is another way to avoid that acceleration that makes it slow to turn around. But for the most part, that's... That's, I think that's all I wanted to show, because that's about all the glitches I've found. But I will still try and execute that first glitch to show you that I can, in fact, escape the se uh, completely skip over the second tutorial with it. Especially since it allows you to hilariously enter that second tutorial from the right. It doesn't break that tutorial, but it's still humorous. Don't mind the keyboard mashing. I'm just getting through this as quickly as possible. I think I messed it up. I did indeed mess it up, because I still hit the monster. But... As I noted earlier, the, uh, the closer you do it to the jump to the dial, the closer your jump is to the dialogue, the faster you go up, the more height you get. So if you can cut it closer, you'll get more height, making that easier. One more attempt, which, I'm, which I'll just close the game because I'll be faster than defeating that monster. Well, actually, no, it's not that slow, but because I can bribe him. But the only monster I find that you can actually bribe in the demo, which ma makes that mechanic weird if you can only use it in one place. But don't mind my criticism. And yeah, at this point, I'm just making a video longer so I can. Show a glitch in another useful way. Yes, this is a definitely high quality video. Blah blah blah, other sarcastic comments. Yes, there we go, I got it. I should easily fly over the next tutorial, which that tree right there was the tutorial, and boom, skipped. This is sort of useful for speedruns, but you still have to deal with pretty much every other tutorial, and the second one you'll still have to come back to from the right side later, later in your run since you'll have to get past him to get to the locked area down under underneath there sort of spoilers cuz it's telling I'm telling you what you have to do kind of late on that but it also causes this to be humorous cuz you're down below him and you're also facing opposite directions but this entire tutorial still works
Oh yeah, I just realized I never tried attacking. Apparently attacking forces you out of the battle. But you can still approach him like a normal enemy. Um, yep, yeah, and uh, that about concludes it for this video, so, um, thank you for watching, even though I've got clearly an amazing channel with actual followers, totally, and I hope the, the dev team in particular finds this useful, and, and for anyone else, I hope this was enlightening, or amusing, the glitches anyway, because I've totally got good video quality and commentary here, clearly a top tier YouTuber. Have a nice day.